Welcome guys to vlog 29. This vlog is all about my follow-up on my surgery on my neck. Yes, 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 yes. We are going to talk about what Angelo felt, what went through his head, and uh, the whole what was thing. going on, the whole thing. Um, I'll tell you about the... Uh, we're going to jump in right away with the uh, anesthesia. Today, well, I'm not sure if it's nowadays the way they do it or not, but the way they did it with Angelo is not an IV anymore. It's actually gas, right? Yeah, they put on a mask and they pump the thing. They put on a mask and uh, we'll let Angelo explain to you everything because he had a funny experience and it's funny. Go ahead. So, a couple minutes before the surgery, they ask you a question, or well, they ask me a question. What flavor you want the anesthesia to be? Because, you know, since it's gas, it can be flavor. They ask you... They give you three options. Watermelon, bubblegum, and cotton candy. I chose watermelon because it's delicious. You're one of your favorite fruit, I guess. Fruit? Yeah, no, yeah, it's fruit. Because it... Is it a fruit? I think so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway. So, they were bringing me to the surgery room. And they opened the doors. I see this really bright room with lots of doctors. They bring me onto this the surgery bed where they're gonna give me the surgery you know and they put on the mask where they're gonna pump the anesthesia and then they start pumping it and the flavor of the watermelon it started smelling it started it was like really strong mm. to the point where i wanted to like tell them to take it off because it was way too strong <laughs> but <laughs> But right before I get the chance to tell them, all of a sudden, I'm in the recovery room. Like, just in an instant. Like, boom. <laughs> like, it's the magic. You would usually think, like, when you're under anesthesia, you would fall asleep and then you would dream something. Sure. But no. For me, I don't know if it's how it is for everyone, but for me, I just fell asleep instantly. And I just woke up instantly. I woke up. And for us, mom and dad, it was actually two hours. Two hours long. Two hours. Well, they told us it was going to be about 30 minutes to an hour, uh, the surgery, because uh, they were going to do a small incision on, under your neck. And um, 30 minutes passed, 40 minutes, and then somebody came out and said, you know what? It's actually going to take a little longer because we had to open up a little more because we had to dig in and get everything out. Yeah. I remember it was really cold. Was it cold for you? No. Nope. Because you were butt naked. <laughs> well, not, not butt naked, just your in undies. My undies. And um, they wheel you out on a bed. From the bed, did they transfer you over to another place? To another bed? Like before the surgery? No, when they were going to perform the surgery, when they took you to, this, uh, to the room. Yeah. They wheel you in, right? Yeah. And they... then did they move you to another place? Place? Yeah, they moved me into the bed that they're going to do the surgery on. They were going to perform the surgery. So there were a whole bunch of lights and, and, and stuff like that. Lots of doctors. A bunch of doctors. Was it cold? No, not at all. No? Surprisingly. It's usually cold. Those surgery rooms are really usually cold. And um, after the surgery, where did you woke up? Outside the room? Or do you... Well, you probably don't know the hospital, but... What do you remember after your surgery? Do you remember when you were up in the room? Or you went with us to the room? Because well, I think we went right behind you. They were wheeling you up. Or Into the in room where we were going to spend like the next yeah, uh -huh. No, yeah. I woke up in the recovery room. Okay. And then from there, they took you up with yeah, us, right? So you do remember us being with you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because I, I even told you I'm trying to speak, but I couldn't. Yeah, that's because they put a tube in there in, in, your, in your throat so that they the can machine can actually breathe, for, breathe me? for you. Yes. I don't know why, 
what the effects of the uh, anesthesia does or I don't know but they they always do that and um, did you um, were, were you sleepy when you woke up or were yes. you exhausted exhausted but you didn't do nothing all you did is just lay down it felt like I hadn't slept in like <laughs> a week <laughs> wow that's 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 I thought you were like gonna wake up like not tired like you had a good nap like oh, no. oh this is the best nap people say this is the best time when I go to sleep when I have the uh, anesthesia but I guess not to not for you so they had a tube in my neck in your neck as you all seen in the video previous video blog 28 right yeah, block twenty. Yeah, I hope you 20. saw that video. Or if if you haven't, then you probably have no idea what we're talking about. Yeah. But they, they, they probably will. Um, he had about this much inside his neck. There was it was it was like a suction something. It was like draining like what I think. It, it was draining dried up blood from your blood. Yeah, you had it there since surgery until the last day that you were in the hospital. He was there for two days. So it was like a little pump because they, they will squeeze it. And that little pump will stay like that, squeezed. And it will, uh, it, it, I don't know, but it, it will it will sucking up your, your blood slowly. I don't know, because then it was red like blood and then it started clearing up. And then clearing, 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 but it was still draining. So we couldn't take him home because every time now and then they would come up and they, they would measure the the liquid. And they said, no, he still can't go because they were afraid if they would let him go. He would like build up they, and then uh -huh. it would bruise a lot. Yeah, it would actually build up right here in your neck because it was all and it would drainage or something. blood or whatever. I don't know how it is. And they said it would like damage something. Yeah, no, they said then you will you're probably gonna have to bring it back. And then we're gonna have to open it and then drain it and blah blah blah. So they were waiting for Angelo to stop draining that liquid that it was on his neck. But he actually recovered really good. I mean uh, this video that I'm showing right now is uh it's what they did to him. They uh after the surgery, they stitched him up. And they did a fine job. The the person who did the stitching, they did, they did a fine job. Obviously, the doctor did an excellent job. Nurses and everybody. And they put like a little, I don't know what is it. It's, it's like a tape, a transparent tape. And they said, after the seventh day, you can go ahead and, and take it out. Pull it out, actually. Um, the wound should already be closed. Well, as you see right here in this video, we're trying to do that, and it's not coming out because <clears throat> we took more than seven days. We took like nine days or ten days. The first three days, Angela didn't shower, so that's why I, that's why it looks a little black because of dirt or whatever. I don't know, but um, we just decided to leave it like that because I couldn't. I didn't want to hurt him, so. So you even said that if they, if we took that out, took that out, is that a word? Yeah. No. If we taken it out by the day we were supposed to, you even said that we might have pulled out something. Yeah. Cause it was still fresh. I think to me, I, I think it was fresh. I mean, it's already closed. Show them, show them your neck. I don't know if you can see it. If y'all can see it. I mean, doctor did an excellent job at Brady's children's hospital. That's where we were. They did an excellent job and that place is awesome the nurses who took care of my son i mean the best best um that place was supposed to be for just one parent to stay overnight and we both stayed with angelo uh and they one of the nurses said you know what i don't wanna i don't wanna well maybe i shouldn't say that but he said you know what you can go ahead and lay down in Angela's bed and uh, the other one uses a recliner and as long as you guys don't bother nobody and, and because there was another kid right next door all all they had to 
divided room. It was just a curtain, right? Curtain. And uh, there was another kid uh, on the next bed. Bed B, you were A, and the, the other kid no, was... No, bed two. I was bed two. two. It, it was numbered or A and B? Numbered. Numbered. Um, if you're somehow watching this, which I doubt, um, sorry for eavesdropping, but I heard <laughs> that you uh injured your knee you broke it or something but i hope you recover well yeah and fast because you were you were asleep while, while when, when they took him to surgery no i was awake you weren't asleep you were awake you remember no, yeah because i don't know if you remember a lot of things because you were like uh, out uh, out uh, out and waking up and out i was tired a lot for some reason even though i slept a lot yeah so and also, I want to say uh, thank you to the to the guys next door, uh, outside of the hospital, across the street from the hospital, at the uh, parking lot, way on top, on the third floor, I think it is. Is it the fourth floor? No, I think it's in the third floor because I don't know, third or fourth, not counting the basement. I think it's the third. What is the last one? It's uh, Ronald McDonald's Charity House. Charity House. And that place, they fed us three meals, uh, three meals a day: breakfast. breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah. They had showers. They had uh, a room for napping, just in case you're really tired, hadn't had any sleep at all, like we did. Mom took took advantage of that. She went to take a nap. Showers. They had a gym. They had school for for kids. They what? have, um, yeah, they have like a little school. In case you're with another kid or something, I don't know why, but uh, they had that. They have uh, they have a whole bunch of, uh, of things, activities for kids and everything. Maybe it's for a, it, it's home? it's a great great place. They even have um, if you want to bring your own food and cook, they have a kitchen for the family where they what? can cook. It's awesome, dude. Yeah. Really? Yep. They have a kitchen for the family. They have the utensils, the plates, and everything. They cook their own food. There's a refrigerator. You pick a refrigerator. You put your foot in there. You lock it, and then they give you a code. Then you go up to the hospital to see your 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 loved one. And then when you're hungry, you go back over there and kick, cook your own food and everything. If you don't want to eat, what they cook over there. But it's awesome. The food was excellent. I mean, I'm it's so cool. happy with that place. I know it's awesome. Anyways, we had to come over here to San Diego to for the surgery. Taking advantage, taking advantage of the spring break. While we were in spring break, we decided to stay here in San Diego for the rest of the summer. And at the end of the summer, we're going to go back to Texas. So yeah, that is why, because I travel a lot back and forth in San Diego to Texas. So we decided to do the surgery here because this is where the rest of the family is. Um, and we could all be close and together or with the sun. So pretty much that is it. Angelo is doing well. He's recovery. The wound is closed. And all we got to do is just wait for that thing to fall off while he takes a shower. Don't, don't just rub when, it. No, when, just when you shower, just don't rub it. Just put a little bit of soap and that's it. In due time, it's going to fall off. And they did this, uh, the cut, they, uh, incision. They did the incision right where your neck, my neck bends. Yeah. Where it wrinkles and uh, to kind of hide it. The doctor said when he grows up, he's actually, it's actually going to fade out because he's growing the skin is stretching, whatever and it's going to fade out. So he's not, he's not going to be able to show the, uh, the scar. And that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So they did an excellent job over there and, and I'm really happy with it and um, hope that we don't have to go over there again. Thank you Rainy Children's Hospital for everything you've done. You did an excellent job with the surgery, excellent job with taking care of me. Thank yes. you so much. Yes, you all did. So this is Block 29. We just wanted to follow up on Angelo's surgery. And now you all know what happened, why he was in the hospital. So he's back again, as he was before. Well, it, does it hurt? No. It doesn't not hurt at all. At all. So you're, you're back to normal. You consider going back to normal. You're back to normal now. Yep. 
All right. If your kid ever has an injury, which I hope not, or has to have surgery, which I really hope that doesn't need to happen, I recommend Rady Children's Hospital because it is a really good place. Yeah, that's the Children's Hospital here in San Diego. I don't know. It's got to do something with with McDonald's because I remember they it used to be a McDonald's inside the hospital. But it's really cool. It's really cool. I mean, uh, he ordered a whole bunch of food. Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets and I don't know what Pancakes. else. And pizza. Pancakes. And, and man, I was like, this isn't food for... This isn't hospital food. I was this like... like a buffet. Wow. I mean, he could order anything, anytime. Literally whenever and they would bring it to you. Yeah. Well, not whenever because they would stop at like 7 p.m. I think so. But I mean... Anytime you would, I mean, cookies, chocolate milk, whatever they want, they get. I, I don't think there's any diet. I mean, at least you didn't have a diet. They told us that you could eat whatever or drink whatever you wanted. So, thank you. Well, mom and dad were across the street at at uh, Ronald McDonald's eating a subway. No, well, we ate a subway because we we didn't know what we were gonna do. So. And until we found out about about the, the uh, charity house, run a McDonald's place, yes, which helps a lot. All right, guys, so that's that's pretty much it. And um, don't forget to do what, Angela? Three things, and if you forget them, I don't know. Just don't forget them. But like, subscribe, and when you do subscribe, might as well hit the bell to so you get notified every time we post a new video. Yes, like right here. Subscribe and hit this bell right here. <laughs> All right, well, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Like the, you see the little like right small there. dot right here, just like right there. Hit the bell. Yeah. All right, and we'll see you guys on the next vlog, which is going to be vlog number thirty. Thirty. The thirtieth vlog of this channel. Wow. Yes. We posted so many. See y'all from San Diego. We say goodbye. Bye. Have a great day or have a great night. Whenever you're watching this. Bye.